All right, show of one, show of one. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, giving our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Achakadash. Dabba is a great millstone, at the apostle, teachable well. Peace, salutation to the old for elect the scattered abroad, and like the other nations. Shalom, shalom, and a shalom to the sincere Akim that's out there making a body a living sacrifice, going out there in the highways, byways, and hedges. Proclaiming his truth and teaching the one hundred percent truth. Keep doing so to those who may be shalom, shalom, and the shalom to the sincere Aquathium that's out there representing their husbands, being a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those who may be shalom, shalom, and the shalom to those that's tuning in to this quick lesson to get their daily bread and edified. Shalom. Yahweh, as it been the heavenly father, was the word eagerly calls God, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. He is this he is the ancient of days. He is the uh He's the ancient of days. And he and his name also stands for he exists. Okay. Bahashem being in the name of Yahweh Shai being on we got the son of the heavenly father of the heavenly father. Which the world eagerly called Jesus the Christ, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. He is the deliverer, he's the savior for the children of Israel only. Okay, and Rakaka does being the Holy Spirit, the Spirit Holy. Alright. So today's lesson is entitled. Okay. Get it. The signs of the end. Okay. And basically, this is just gonna be a quick hit lesson. Just to touch on, you know. The things that you should be watching for to know what times you're in, okay? Because we say it almost every time. We are in the end days, man. Look at the wickedness in within the world, man. Look at the catastrophes that's happening within the world. Look at the wickedness that is uh, flaring up in the world, man. These are the signs of the end that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai warned us about. And Yahweh sent his only begotten son down to warn us, okay, to correct us, all right? Because, hey, Yahweh Shai did tell us, tell the disciples, you know, because the scriptures say these things are written to our, for our formal learning, you know. Yahweh Shai did tell his disciples that, you know, these are the things that's going to happen in the end days. And we read these things to watch for these things because hey the scriptures say watch blesses he that watches daily at my gates okay and what is you doing when you watch it daily at the lord's gates you are paying attention to the signs and the prophecies okay because at the end of the day you know you should we are all to be watchmen for israel we're supposed to be uh blowing the horn that's why the scriptures say cry aloud spread none you know because uh we, we sounding that alarm to let your people know that independent doom is coming there. And what is that independent doom? Jacob's trouble, World War Three, you know, the MOTB, you know, all that is coming, man. You know, but you know, you gotta um, be able to see that and perceive it and believe it. Okay, so you gonna get the first scripture. Isaiah 55. Okay. Isaiah 55. It's lucky. Verse um, um, 10. And the reason it says... For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not, returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bud, make it make it, it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper unto the thing whereunto I sent it. Right. So what the Lord is saying, what Yahweh was saying here is uh, these prophecies are like rain and snow, you know, when they are coming down, you don't see them hit a reverse button and just 
rise back into the earth, or rise back up into the uh, heavens. No, it, it comes down and lay on the ground, man. So it's the same thing as the Lord's prophecy. Okay, the Lord prophesied, prop, told us, prophesied that these things are going to happen. And they are going to accomplish that which He pleased. Okay, and this is spoken over two thousand years ago, thousands some years ago. Okay, that these things were going to happen within the earth. All right, so that's why it's imperative that we be watching, you know, for these things and watching for these signs and bring these videos out to warn the flock. Okay, because this is another way of edification, you know, because we don't do these videos just to, you know, scare people. You know what I mean, the scriptures say, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay. Because we just letting you know what's coming down the pipe, man. Okay, what is coming down the pipe? Danger. All right, danger before the glory. All right, we got to go through that, uh, that 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 the hard times to be able to receive the good times. Okay, which is the which is the heaven, kingdom of heaven. Okay, ruled under ruled under Yahweh Shai. Okay, when the Israelites are going to be in authority, but. These things, that's considered a prophecy too, but the point being is the things that's happening now are prophesied to happen, man. Just to let us know that we are drawing nigh into the end. Okay. Let's get a... Uh, stop doing that. Uh, Romans, I think it's the 13th chapter. 13 and 11. The reason it says, and that knowing the time that is now, now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Right, our salvation for the kingdom of heaven, you know, is nearer than what we believe. Okay, we are entering to so lucky. We are entering into some dark, dark times, man. Okay? And that's why we say salvation is, uh, our, our salvation draws not because we're seeing the end of, end of this devil's kingdom, Esau, Edom. Okay? The reason why these things are happening because the scriptures say Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning of it that follow us. So Esau's kingdom is falling. Okay? And what that's going to cause is, is a, uh, you know, all out catastrophe to happen on earth, such as World War Three. you know, the thermonuclear missiles hitting the United States, okay? And then you got the solar eclipse when it happened Monday, okay? So, those are signs that we ought to be looking out for because, you know, we were warned, we, we were warned that these things are going to happen. And you can't say nobody warned you, okay? But the message is, hey, our salvation draw nearer than what we believe, okay? It's only a matter of time, okay? Only a matter of time. I pray and help, hope it happens soon, okay? Because, hey, the, the sooner it happens, hey, that's how we know the kingdom of heaven is around the corner, okay? So we got to be thankful for Yahweh by Shemir uh laying these plagues upon this place because the Lord, Lord how about Shemir El Shad did say he would visit this place as the place before. Okay? So, there we go right there. Now, let's get uh, 2nd Ezra 9. If you, uh, and this is a quick little edif edification point, because I did a lesson over it before. Uh, this is how you know the Apocrypha is canon with the scriptures, because Yahweh Shad was quoting the Apocrypha. Okay? This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He that answered me then said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest parts of the signs pass, what, when I have told thee, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time the highest will be the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. So the Lord is visiting this place with these different plagues, these earthquakes. And all that, man, because he, the Lord said he was, the Lord said he was going to do that. Okay, it's prophesied that it was going to happen. Okay, we can't get around. Yahweh Shai's power 
you know, and, and the words that he speak. Okay, when the Lord says something, when the Lord speaks something, it goes. Okay, it doesn't just, you know, it, it goes. All right, this is Yahweh Shimi Abishai. Okay, wherever he speaks, it's going to go. All right, and guess what? What the Lord spoke is prophecies. All right, the Lord is moving upon this place. Okay, it might seem like oh, it's taking too long for some of you jakes that don't have patience, but hey, it's really happening right on time. Okay, because hey, if you think about it when the Lord spoke these things, spoke these prophecies. Hey, look, the Lord knew what day was going to happen on. <laughs> you know, the Lord knew what year is going to happen on. Okay, that's why it's all a test of our faith, man. That's all it is. The Lord just testing our faith, man. Okay, it's not about when you want it to happen. It's about when the Lord let it happen. Okay, because the Lord already planned it out. It's prophesied. What does prophecy mean to say before? We already said what's going to happen before it happens. Okay, that's why we are called prophets to prophesy on the highways, byways, and hedges and doing the work on, on, the, on, the, on the YouTube platform. All right? Verse 3. And it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the, in the world, then shall thou well understand the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right. So, hey, the Lord spoke the end of this world of Esau Edom's kingdom from the beginning. All right. So the Lord already had this planned out. And this is why we say the Lord is the ultimate movie director, because... Yahweh Shimei Yahusha already had this directed out, man. The Lord Yahweh Yahweh, uh, it's like it. the Lord Yahweh already had this planned out to happen like this. All right, and it's beautiful because we living in those times. All right, we living in those times, man. Yeah, it's the world about to get rocky and bumpy, but hey, at least we know the kingdom of heaven coming. <laughs> you know, that's the plus side. You know, I don't know why. You Israelites get some of you Israelites get burnt out of shape because you're seeing this happening. No, man, you should be glad this is happening. Okay, you ain't gonna work no more for this devil. Okay, he finna be prepared. He he being ready to become our servants in the kingdom. So you know we got a lot to look forward for. You know because those are prophecies. Okay, but right now we got to go through the hard times, the hardships, Jacob's trouble, World War Three. Well. World War Three is going to happen, but it's going to take a, a huge toll of what in the world, okay? Inflation, hyperinflation, uh, MOTB, you know, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. All those things are coming, man. All right, that's why it says, measure thou the time diligently within itself. Okay, when you are doing that, you are realizing that destruction is imminent, okay? You are realizing that we are at the end, all right? So, um, that's it on that. Now, let's go to Matthew 24, just to prove that Yahweh Shai quoted the Apocrypha, all right? And this is going to be it on this. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and verse 1. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the, the, departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be hewn down. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Okay. So the disciples inquired of Yahweh Shai, how shall we know the end of the world? How shall we know what to expect? Okay. And Yahweh Shai told them. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many, many fall so for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and shall deceive many. Right, you are having that happen. You know, you got guys came in there, or a Hamashiach Yabashai. 
okay? You got guys claiming they're King David, okay? I, I wouldn't be far thinking how wicked these people are to say some outlandish ass shit, you know? You're not, you not Yahweh Shai. There is one Yahweh Shai, okay? Which, well, it's like it. Because you look at it, Joshua's name was Yahweh Shai. But the point being, you know, is that uh, you're not the only begotten son, is what I mean, okay? You got a lot of cats saying, oh, I'm, I'm the uh, only begotten son. You gonna get saved through me, man. Fuck you, okay? You ain't the only begotten son. There's only one only begotten son, and that's Yahweh Shai, all right? You are not him. You are not our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay. You're not the Hamashiach. Okay, but we are followers of Hamashiach Yavashai, meaning we follow the anointed one. Okay. And it says in verse 5 for verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see ye that see ye that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so hey, we are seeing these things happen because hey, it's, 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 it's the signs of the end. Verse nine, this, uh, verse seven, uh, yeah, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you to be afflicted. Oh, that's it. But the point being, it says for said that. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. You having that happen in the earth, man. Earthquakes in diverse places. Okay. Famines. I mean, uh, pestilences. You know, kingdom against kingdom. You know, you got uh, Russian and uh, you know, American. America, you know, bumping heads, man. Okay. That's prophesied to happen, man. The bear, which is the Russians, the Medes, okay? Destroying America, man, okay? And America's allies, you know, destroying America as well, man. Because the scripture says these should hate the whore, okay? So, God, man, that's been this lesson, bro. It's like, <laughs> I just woke up. I don't know why I said it. This, this has been this lesson. Hopefully, this has been edifying to those who may watch uh, let me grab one more. Right. This is uh, Luke 21 in verse 36. And it says, Watch ye therefore and always pray that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come, come to pass before and to stand before the Son of Man, right? So, you know, we got to continue to watch and pray and watch daily at the Lord's gates, okay? Watching out for these prophecies, these signs, okay? Because, hey, they drawing nigh, okay? So these things that uh, uh, that, that Yahweh Shai prophesied and Yahweh prophesied and the prophets prophesied, you know, these things are going to come to pass, Hey, you seeing it happening before your face, okay? And I got these uh, uh, recent earthquakes, okay? It says uh, magnitude 7.4 earthquake two miles from South Fetting Township, Holland County, Taiwan is able to two second magnet act uh, magnet act two. I mean magnitude 3.8. Three miles from Bedminster, New Jersey. Magnitude 4.8. One miles from Tewksbury, New Jersey. 6.8 magnitude. 270 miles from the Dan Sapien. 4.4 magnitude. 22 miles from Magalia, California. 4.1 magnitude. 21 miles from Magalia, California. 6.1 magnitude. 60 miles for Ishinomi, Isho, 
Oh, so like Ishinomaki Miyangi. I probably butchered that. Japan. Okay, and you see the dates. 6.4 magnitude, 5 miles, Zingche, Chaoshit, Huan County, Taiwan. You know, you just, it goes on, man. It's great to say earthquakes in diverse places, and then there's also wildfires. Right. Wildfires going up. Got wildfires going up. Okay. Hey, these are signs of the end. All right. So, Khan, this has been this lesson. Hopefully, this is edifying to those that may watch. Giving our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Akakadash. Till next time, to the next video. Shalom. Kwame Asharala and the Baba Ball.